you celebrate a legend. Lori, I wish you all the best in this wonderful retirement. I'm jealous. I can't wait to go back to Hawaii. Um, I have enjoyed working with you all these years as a colleague, as a friend, and look forward to continuing our friendship together. I already miss working with you, but look forward to our days ahead. Love you, Lori. Take care of yourself. Hello, Marty. Hi, Marty. Some of our fondest memories of you are obviously coaching with you. You were one heck of a runner and a coach to learn from. The kids absolutely loved you. And we're out at the stop sign, but, but Misha, is, is there a stop sign here? I don't see a stop sign, Marty. I don't see one. You know what else will never stop? Or it doesn't exist of stopping? You know what point I'm trying to get at. How much we care about you and how much, you know, we gain from working with you. So we will never stop missing you. I know. Before we start crying, thank you for everything, Marty. <laughs> Enjoy. Hi, Marty, Mrs. Hayes, Princess, Queen of the Seventh Grade. Where do I even start? I guess I'll start with saying congratulations. I cannot believe this day is here. You have finally reached the end. It's so exciting. It's been such an amazing gift to me to be a part of your journey. And I am so excited to hear about all of your stories in retirement. In fact, I've decided I'm going to take up golfing just so I can hang out with you. Um, I admire so much about you, but the one thing that I can't say enough about is your ability to connect with kids, my kids, your kids, the classroom, Zoom. You have this ability that I view as an art form and I have watched for years and I will strive to always be able to do that part um, without you around. I am so excited for you. Hey Marty. Happy hey, happy retirement. Um, you know, a few years ago, uh, it was a really wet spring and I went out into the uh, parking lot and I saw that you were out with your class doing uh, testing hypotheses with uh, kayaks and paddles and uh, you were in what we called Lake Westwood at that year. Um, and you were in there and you had your waders on and you're about waist high in the water and you're directing everything. At one point you stepped backwards, tripped over a sewer grate and fell right into with the icy cold water just plunging into your waders. And you popped back up and you didn't miss a beat and you just kept on going. And uh, I thought to myself, that is the epitome of a meaningful student experience. And honestly, you know, these kind of things that you do for students, they're never going to forget it. Um, and so it's just very inspiring to me and I wanted to let you know. So have a wonderful retirement. This is Sarah Graham. I had you in seventh grade and I would just want to say congratulations on your retirement. You have taught me so much. You taught me how to love myself and how to be a strong, independent woman. And I think we both know that those middle school boys were not the nicest and everything, but you taught me how to stay true to myself and how to stand up for myself and how to be an independent woman. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You have just created so much for me and I appreciate all of that. And I appreciate you looking out for me. And again, congratulations. And I hope you have a wonderful retirement. You deserve the world. You deserve everything. Hi, it's Emerson Hewitt. I don't know if you recognize me. I think I look the same. I'm finally taller now. So there's that. But um, first, huge congratulations to you, Mr. Sexton. This is crazy. I feel like you literally taught me last year. I know it's been a lot longer than that. I really don't feel like doing the math right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But it, it all goes out to you. You're the reason I started to love math in general, and I still do to this day. So thank you for that. And also all the countless amount of memories that I have from your class, from dodgeball to crypto to kayaking in Lake Westwood. That's a classic. Everyone can go see that on YouTube. But um, it's, it's crazy. And the stinking clay boats still make me so, so mad to this day. So I just wanted you to know that. But I have two more years, but you will be getting my graduation announcement. So just know that. But I'm so proud of you and huge congratulations. Hi, I'm Cadence and I was in Miss Hayes' class last year. One of the fun memories that I shared while being in her class was how her and Mr. Passanetti used to always pick on me, which was, was a lot of fun. And I was really sad that we only got to spend some of the time of the year in class. 
because I loved being in Miss Hayes' class. I loved how Miss Hayes told me plain out what I did wrong in an assignment so I knew how to fix it right away. It helped to shape my essays and make them better and make me a better writer. Congratulations on your retirement, Miss Hayes. I'm definitely going to miss you going on. Strike. I was in your um, woodshop class and I was also in your eighth grade advanced math class my eighth grade year and I was I'm a senior in high school now but um I can't believe you're retiring it's just so funny though because I was reached out to make this video and I literally was just telling someone one of my friends the other day about like that we used to play dodgeball every Friday in your class we would do the crypto math games like and earn pickles and crackers and stuff it's just so funny because that class in woodshop like I still have my woodshop things. I still have those friends that I made in those classes to this day. And at that time in my life, I was really going through some stuff with my family. I, you know, school was my safe place, especially in your class. It just made me feel very safe. And I felt like I had a place in that class. And that was what I needed at that time to have such a community in that class. And I absolutely loved it. And I wish you It's Hannah Davis. I had you way back in seventh grade middle school for science class. I'm graduating this year in class of 2021. You were such an amazing teacher. You always taught with a smile on your face and you definitely brighten a lot of kids days, especially mine. I remember, I'll never forget, we dissected frogs in your class and it's because of you and all of the science teachers that I've had that I have enjoyed science classes so much. I'm gonna be majoring in biochemistry in college next year and I'm so excited. So a huge thank you. Thank you so much. Mr. Passanetti is right. You deserve the best retirement for all that you've done for I your students. So sexed in. It sucks that me saying hi again had to be a retirement video for you to say farewell. I hope teaching was an amazing experience and I just wanted to let you know you had an amazing impact on me. I'm actually kind of thinking about going to, into construction and everything just because of the classes I took with you and I love working with wood and I just, you know, it's something I enjoy and it's all thanks to you. Um, I still have all my woodworking pieces and you are far more like one of my favorite teachers like above and beyond because you really inspired me and I hope you have a good rest of your life and I hope to see you around somewhere you know just be like oh hi Mr. Sexton but until then goodbye Mr. Sexton and have a wonderful I'm life. I'm Ella Roberts from year seventh grade ELA class um last year 2020 um I want to thank you for all the support you gave me throughout that whole COVID situation. I think um, you did an amazing job. Um, you're one of my favorite teachers. Um, your class was so fun. Um, you were strict at the same time, but you always knew how to make our class laugh. And I think that's really important to have in a classroom environment. Yeah, I just want to thank you for all your hard work. Um, happy retirement. Hey, Marty. I just want to wish you a happy retirement. Um, thanks for all the service that you've done with our students. And I hope you enjoy your fishing. You can see the theme. Yay. Um, your golfing, your woodworking, time with your wife, um, your grandkids, all the things that make you smile. So uh, it's been great having you, and I wish you the best. Mrs. Lori Hayes, my goodness, I don't even know what, where to start. I do remember the first time meeting you, and I should have known that I was going to appreciate your sense of humor from day one. I had spent so much time in the old portable, getting my room all decorated, all cooped out. It looked wonderful, many hours. Lori walks in. Hi, I'm Lori Hayes. Nice to meet you. I forgot, I hate to tell you this, but in Cheney School District, they don't allow us to promote a certain university. And I'm like, what? So then she walks me down to her room that is painted purple and gold and welcomes me to her love for the Huskies. So it's always been our running joke. Lori, you've been absolutely amazing to teach with. I've gotten so many pieces of wise advice from you, especially this last year when you're all techie and I am not. 
I wish you the best. Lots of golf. Get out there and travel. Hopefully you never have to Zoom again. It's Skylar. Sad to hear that you're retiring, but at the same time, it's amazing to think of the impact that you've left on all of your students. It's just you always found a way to make your classes enjoyable and fun for everyone, as well as for your cross-country team. You always made even the most difficult runs fun and engaging and really made sure that students would keep coming back to your cross-country runs. And you're the reason that I stayed within cross-country and enjoy it as much as I do today. And I have to thank you for that. Thank you. And it, it was just the small things like saying, like you're saying that you always run on the left side of the road. That way you can see the car when it hits you. Those were the small things that really made cross country fun and interesting and really added to your persona. And I really like that about you. I just want so to say you. congratulations to Marty. Um, time well spent. Enjoy your time. I'm off as in retirement. Uh, my favorite story is uh, when I was out of football practice probably 15 years ago, uh, Marty and Carol Lewis um, had the cross country team running by us. Um, some students stepped on a beehive and there was about 200 wasps that flew up Carol's pants and Marty was sitting there hollering at her to take her pants off. But as a gentleman Marty is, he decided to take his pants off also, um, but he was giving them to Carol so she could put something on. Uh, with about 45 football players watching and, and 30 cross country kids. Um, lots of good memories, Marty, congratulations, enjoy. Hi, Laurie, this is Barbara. I would feel honored to have been asked to come and say a few words to you on your retirement. I just wanna thank you, Laurie, for the years of friendship and the fun we've had and the laughs we've had. I also appreciate very much always your encouragement your inspiration, the knowledge that you shared. I never ever had a conversation with you that I didn't learn something about teaching or life or the world or just how great it was to be in your presence and have a good time with you. Every, it was all wonderful, I loved it. I wish you well in your retirement. I hope you and Jeff have lots of adventure and travels and Enjoy one another, and I hope that you realize how much you will be missed in, in all ways at school and and in